So hello everyone. In this video I'll demonstrate uh, a very simple obstacle avoidance algorithm for a robot and uh, it's actually a goal seeking robot so as you can see on the in the robot arena here uh, there's one little robot and there's its goal so the task for this robot is to get to this goal um, avoiding any obstacles it encounters en route so let's place some obstacles into the arena so these little black circles are obstacles and once the robot starts moving and I set it into automatic mode uh, it should be able to evade these obstacles keeping clear of them and reach its goal so here we go so the red um, the, the obstacles you can see in red are basically within the sensor range of the robot and that's why it's picked them up whereas it hasn't picked up this one because this this one is outside its sensor range as soon as the robot crosses the obstacle it disregards it and so therefore it becomes black again and as you can see the robot has successfully reached its goal and it's managed to keep clear of all the obstacles so this is a relatively simple task uh, we could make it a lot more complex so for instance I could add uh, something like a cave and then the robot would get trapped inside that cave so let's try that so here I'm adding obstacles and I'm sort of enclosing the robot inside a cave as you can see and I'm gonna place the goal over here now so this robot will start seeking the goal, and it has to reach somewhere here and you'll see it gets trapped in the cave and then figures out that it's in a cave and then gets out so let's see that at work again the red obstacles are the ones that the robot is actually using in its algorithm and the black ones it's either not seeing or it's disregarding them because it, it thinks it's crossed them so here's the robots reach the end of the cave and it's as you can see it's stuck and once it realizes that it's stuck it decides it wants to get out of the cave and so it now starts sort of edge holding the edge of the cave and um, trying to get out So you can see it's now outside the cave. And appears to be closing in on the goal. So once its algorithm tells it that it's outside the cave, it starts heading back to the goal. And you can see that the robot successfully reaches the goal. So this is a very simple uh, obstacle or avoidance and goal seeking algorithm. I've written this program in Python and uh, I'm using Pygame to display the, uh, the graphics. Uh, using this basic algorithm we can now move on to a much more complicated subject and that's the subject of uh, swarming. So you know several robots all working independently to swarm into certain positions and um, I'll demonstrate that uh, now so thank you for watching and uh, I hope you enjoy the next part of the video thank you so hello again and welcome to the second part of my uh, s demonstration of obstacle avoidance and uh, goal seeking in this section I'll be demonstrating how this uh, algorithm can be used uh, to control a swarm of robots uh, to and so they can go independently to their positions without banging into each other or into obstacles um, so again we're in a you can see a, a, a robot arena into which I'll be placing goals and uh, these goals each goal will correspond to one robot so I can demonstrate that here so I can start placing goals and let's say I want to place them in a in some sort of geometric shape so say like maybe a house shape so here I go so something like a house well oh, there you go and 
maybe a door for the house so these are the goals and you can see that uh, the simulator has I've created one robot for each goal and so they're all kind of clustered together here in the upper left corner of the of the arena um, they look like they're each attached to one of these goals uh, you can see that by the blue line and that's just for demonstration purposes right now basically the blue line represents which goal each robot is going to so when we start off they have their own individual goals and um, um, as soon as I start the simulation um, this this data is lost and uh, they have to seek out their own goals now a little bit about the robots they have been uh, they have a basic the similar kind of obstacle avoidance algorithm and uh, they all the robots know the goal position so each robot knows this whole little picture with the positions that they are supposed to occupy eventually but these robots do not talk to each other so they have to independently seek out their own goal and um, so supposing some robot comes over here to this goal and it finds there's already a robot here in position it then has to look for another goal and uh, they all do that autonomously and uh, they do it without communicating with each other so I'm gonna put it into auto mode and uh, let's see how they fare here we go So you can see they're, they're seeking out goals on their own um, depending on which goal is the closest. So the in, in if I were to tell you in English what each robot thinks it's doing, it's following just it's obeying just one simple English sentence and that is go and occupy the nearest available empty goal. And so they're just repeatedly doing so they seek out from what they know are empty goals, they head there. If they find a robot already in position they just look for another goal spot so you can see that here um, say this robot is heading now to this goal and it goes it's reached there and it sees there's another robot so it looks for another goal and okay so now it started looking for this goal so it's heading towards this goal because it's not sure that it's empty or not it sees another robot and then shifts to another goal and so eventually all the robots one by one uh, take up their positions and uh, they do it without banging into each other and uh, we could have placed obstacles here and they'd have kept clear of the obstacles but as you can see uh, they've taken up the shape that we wanted uh, completely autonomously and uh, without communicating with each other so I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I'm working a little bit more on the source code and I'm trying to clear out some bugs uh, which are there once I do that I will upload the code and I'll place a link uh, in the description box so uh, please feel free to download the code and uh, experiment it with, your, uh, with it for yourselves thank you for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video thank you